ra elfu moja na wakazi wanahofia kufurushwa baada ya mahakama kuu kutangaza kwamba wamekuwa kiishi kinyume cha sheria kwenye shamba la ekari 29 katika mji wa Ngurubani kaunti ya Kirinyaga misikiti makanisa shule hospitali maeneo ya biashara na nyumba za kuishi ni baadhi ya raslimali zitakazoharibiwa katika ubomozi huo katika uamuzi wake Jaji wa mahakama kuu ya Chuka Jaji Lucy Gitari alisema kuwa walalamikiwa walipata adhi hiyo kinyume cha sheria na kuwa shamba hilo la dai waliligawanywa na kuuzwa baada ya mmiliki wake kuaga dunia na kuwa urithi haujafanyika. Jaji Gitari alibainisha kuwa shamba hilo lilikuwa la ndege wa Rui na kwamba mmoja wa nawe aliuza ardhi hiyo kabla ya mchakato wa urithi kufanywa. Land does not belong to the family or form part of the deceased assets. A ruling was made at Chuka High Court. Hata hivyo, wakazi hao wamepinga uamuzi wa mahakama wakisema kwamba watakata rufaa dhidi ya uamuzi huo. We as the Muslim community and the affected people would like to reiterate that we respect the court, but we disagree with the ruling made by Judge Lucy Kitari. We have with immediate effect instructed our lego team to file an appeal kulingana na mwenyekiti wa muungano wa waislamu kirinyaga subkem anasema kuwa hawaelewi jinsi mahakama ilivyopuuza hati miliki zao kama karatasi tu licha ya kuziwasilisha kama ushahidi we are the lego owners of the land in question in our evidence before the court we provided copies of title deeds for 29 years government and former Kirinyaga Council. It is unfortunate that they could printed papers. Anaongeza kuwa hawatamruhusu mtu yeyote kubomoa msikiti au nyumba na wako tayari kupigania haki yao hadi mwisho. Na mambo kama yakubalika ile hasara inaweza kutokea ni hasara moja kubwa sana. Kama ile hasara kama nisi hapa kwa msikiti ile tumeinvesti ni zaidi ya mamilioni. Na sisi kama institution hatukubali na hiyo maneno. Hatukubali. Na tumekataa. Tumekataa hiyo. Na tuko tayari kupambana kwa yote vile. Allahu. Tuko tayari. Kupambana. Naam. Msonye Onesmus Look Up TV. Elizabeth Lemoyog mwenye umri wa miaka 42 na mnusurika wa ukeketaji wa jinsia ya kike katika kaunti ya Samburu